In this video, we show the creation of runners and gates. First, we isolate the core insert. Next, we select some pre-prepared sketches describing the run around. We select the right hand mouse button menu from the runners and gates folder in the Moldworks feature manager tree and click on insert runner system. The system displays a runner system on the selected segments of the sketches according to the runner settings. The system previews circular runners on all the segments. We use the by path browse type to browse the different paths. We could also use by segment. In this case, it's the same. The current path, in this case segment, is shown in green. We give it a 6 mm diameter. Using the arrows, we browse to the next path. The runner default is 5 mm, which is what we want. Next segment, we change the runner diameter to 4 mm. We do this for the opposite side as well. Instead of browsing with arrows, we could select the segment or path. Notice the other parameters which can be modified, including sync extensions and end conditions. These parameters depend on the runner type. We leave their default values. After completing the runner system definition, we click on the validation icon to create it. Since the runners are created in the cavity insert as well, it is displayed on the screen. Now we're going to create some ejectors on the runners. First, we display the ejection structure by selecting Show Ejection on the mobile folder right-hand mouse button menu. Next, we hide the core plate. We open the ejector dialog and select the bottom face of the ejector retainer plate and a pre-prepared sketch of positions on the runner extremities. We use ORT to find the plastic. We could use trim to trim the ejectors to the shape of the runners, but they are not part of the product, so we don't bother. Next, we add the ejectors for the middle runner in the same manner. Finally, we create the ejectors for the 5mm runners. In this case, we change the length parameter to length and create the ejector just below the actual runner. This is to allow a sink hole for the gate, which we will connect between the middle runner and the 5mm runner. Now we create the gate with the gate cat dialog by selecting insert gate from the runners and gates right hand mouse button menu. We will create the gate at the runner end point. Gates can also be created by selecting a point on a face, usually an internal insert face, and then adjusting the parameters. It automatically finds the plastic and previews a gate according to the default values. Default gate is a submarine gate. We change the angle of the gate to minus 32 degrees and key in 1.5 as a diameter of penetration. We also unmark the through end parameter to create a crescent gate opening. Next, we will create a gate for the actual product. In this case, we will create the gate on the cavity side. Again, we use the runner end point, this time choosing a fan gate with equal cross section areas. We leave the penetration area as 2 square millimeters and flip the direction.
Finally, we can see the gate. We create eight other gates to complete the runner system. Here are some views of the final mold. Check the other Moldworks videos for more information on Moldworks.